Right, okay, we're on question seven. Uh, the curve. Shh. Don't knock the tail. The curve x plus y squared equals xy squared. Find the gradient of the curve at the point where x equals one. Right. Um, what am I thinking here? I might, I might, before we do anything else, I know that it's an implicit differentiation question, so my dy by dx is going to be in terms of x and y. So before anything else happens, I think I'm going to work out y. If x equals 1, then 1 plus y all squared is equal to y squared. That gives me 1 plus 2y plus y squared equals y squared. So 1 plus 2y is 0. So 2y is minus 1. OK. And, and that's one mark, just for doing that. y equals minus a half when x is 1. So I'll use that in a bit. Now I'm going to differentiate this. Now you could differentiate this as it is. This would be a, a chain rule thing, wouldn't it? So you'd be the derivative of the whole thing times the derivative of the inside thing. You could kind of work your way through that. I'm going to find this easier, I think, if I multiply it out. So my first move, you're going to say this is x squared plus 2xy plus y squared is xy squared. And that's what I'm going to differentiate every term one at a time. So if I differentiate x squared, I get 2x. So yeah, the border's behaving strangely again. I get 2x. If I... Oh, come on. If I differentiate 2xy, that's a product. So that's the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. So that's my 2xy differentiated. If I differentiate y squared, that is 2y dy by dx. If I move on to the right hand side, I've got a product to work with here. It's the first times the derivative of the second. Now if I differentiate y squared, that's 2y dy by dx. Plus the second thing times the derivative of the first, which is 1. And that was a lot of work. But if we've got all of that right, I think they gave four marks for that line. Okay, for having all of that there. Because it was a lot of work. And now we need to start tidying this up. So we've got 2x. How am I going to write this? I'm ending up writing this again. Anyway, 2x plus 2y. Uh, well, I'll simplify it. Because dy by the x times... 2x plus 2y. And on the other side, I've got 2xy dy by dx plus y squared. Now, obviously, I want to collect together my dy by dx terms on one side and my non dy by dx terms on the other. So I've got now dy by dx times 2x plus 2y minus 2xy. Taking that over to the other side and bringing it into that dy by dx factorised bit. And I've got y squared minus 2x minus 2y by collecting the other things. So I'm ending up with dy by dx equals <coughs> y squared minus 2x minus 2y over 2x plus 2y minus 2xy. Now the question did say find the value of dy by dx when x is 1 and apparently y is minus a half. We worked that out earlier. So at the point 1 minus a half, summing that in gives me all of this to work out. <coughs> and just being careful about summing values into that, we're going to get minus 3 eighths. At the end of that. Um, there was, I can't remember who it was, there was one person who came up with minus three eighths but from wrong working. And it, it came up with the right answer because you, you'd lost, the person had lost the x terms in here, but because x was equal to one anyway, it didn't affect the final answer. But you didn't get the mark because you can't get the credit if it's not from correct working. Um, so there we go. Happy with that? That's maths.